21st, 2016, and you're watching Night TV. I'm Megan Walla. And I'm Rebecca Robinson. Please stand for the pledges. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for the Texas Pledge. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to thee, Texas, one state under God, one and indivisible. Please be seated for the moment of silence. Great job to our JV golf players who had a golf tournament this morning at 8 at Frisco Lakes GC this morning. Also tonight, theater has a UIL zone contest tonight at 4 at Lone Star High School, so wish them a good luck. Knights, come out and support our Knights baseball team Spirit Night this Wednesday at Durkin's Pizza, located in the shopping plaza at 121 in Custer next to the Quick Trip gas station. Be sure to mention that you're there supporting IHS Night Baseball with your order. Also, the next Spanish Club meeting is tomorrow after school in room C120, and you must attend if you are looking to be an officer next year. We'll be right back after this short commercial break. Okay, here we go. Everybody needs somebody. A friend. Somebody who knows. What makes you laugh? How you feel about football. Movies. Singing. Life. Somebody who always has your back. A real friend. A best buddy. But sometimes it can be hard for people with intellectual and developmental disabilities to make friends. That's why we started Best Buddies. A network of more than 70,000 friends across America and around the world. Best Buddies matches people like me. Like me. Like, like me. me. With people like me. Like me. Like, like me. me. To create one-on-one -on -one friendships that foster understanding, break down barriers, and help us see how beautiful, smart, funny, and amazing. We all are. And we can use your help. Go to bestbuddies.org and see how you can get involved. Because everybody needs a best buddy. Including me. 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 You. There is a student recruitment meeting this Wednesday for students interested in joining the Best Buddies program. It will be held in the Flex Lab at 820 a.m. or in the afternoon at 415 and also a parent meeting next Tuesday in the Flex Lab at 630. The Empowerment Club will be having a meeting this Thursday in room B212 from 415 to 450 p.m. so please attend. Also, tickets for prom are only on sale for a little while longer so please make sure to buy yours during any B-Day lunch. Another important date coming up is the EOC, sadly. Oh, I'm not looking forward to that. Next Tuesday, all freshman students will be taking the English 1 EOC. And next Thursday, all sophomore students will be taking the English 2 EOC. So phones will not be allowed in the testing room and should be left at home or placed in your locker for the duration of the test. Any cell phones brought to the testing room will be collected by, AP, by test administrators and then placed in the AP office where they can be picked up only after school at 410. Make sure to have the following when the test date arrives. Multiple pencils, erasers, highlighters, snacks, water, sack lunch, and a book for when you're done. Also be at your testing location by 8.50 a.m. ready to begin. Test will begin as close to 9 as possible to allow you the full time to test before breaking for lunch. I'm not looking forward to taking this test, Rebecca. You have no idea. I remember taking the English 1 EOC and it was, it was rough. rough. You know what else I'm glad is over? Having to be pregnant for a day before spring break. That was rough and I do not want to experience that for a while. <laughs> you know you weren't actually pregnant, right? Well, duh. It was just for child development. Night TV's Taylor Calhoun got to talk with the temporary mothers about their experience. Nine months or eight hours? 
Child development students experienced a full-term pregnancy in just one school day. Like, I was mentally preparing myself for it because I already knew I'd be adding like 25 to 30 pounds onto my body. I thought it was going to be a lot easier than it actually was. I thought, oh, I just got to strap this on and like walk around, like just going to get stairs. But no, it was like, it was hard. Students got to experience pregnancy during its third trimester. It might have been for only eight hours. But child development students said they have learned that carrying a child makes some daily tasks difficult. This bending down and trying to get stuff and, you know, I kept wanting to go like this and it, you know, you don't want to cramp up the baby. Well, it wasn't bad at first, but then like after a while, it was like really bad because like you get real tired and you get real hot and it's just, it's too much. Getting up and down, like I had to sit in the, on the floor in one of my classes, that was, that was rough. While the baby bumps affected them physically, they said it changed their perspectives on having children. I have a new perspective of what moms go through now, um, especially adding all that much weight and having to have extra help around everywhere. I mean, you just learn to appreciate your mom, honestly, like what they went through for you for nine months. Like I only had to wear it a day, but I had, you're like your mom is stuck with you for nine months. It gave me a lot of empathy, obviously, for pregnant women. So it's educational, but exhausting at the same time. <laughs> I'm Taylor Calhoun with Night TV. That was a great experience for all those students. It was, but let me tell you, my back was <laughs> killing me by the end of the day. Night, applications for the 2016-2017 Executive Student Council class are now available in the Assistant Principal's Office. Completed application packets are due by Tuesday, April 5th. Please see Ms. Bookout in room C225 or Ms. Patterson in room B105 if you have any questions. Another very important date coming up is the Flyer Face-Off 3-on-3 Basketball Tournament. This tournament supports the Frisco Flyers Special Olympics basketball team. The price is $60 per team and there can only be three to five people per team. The tournament is on April 22nd at 4 p.m. but the deadline is April 1st at 11.59 p.m. or the prices will increase so register ASAP. Also this tournament will be broadcasted by KVGI Radio so make sure if you're interested register. Follow. Follow them at The Flyer Face Off on Twitter and email theflyerfaceoff at gmail.com if you have any questions. Well, that's all we have for you today, Knights. Remember to follow us on Twitter. Our handle is at night underscore TV. <laughs> if you have any announcements for us, you, you want us to cover something, remember to email us at nighttv at friscoisd.org. Also, check out our nightpress.org for stories and staff profiles. You may never know. You might just be featured. I'm Megan Walla. And I'm Rebecca Robinson. And remember to... Keep, Keep it, it normal, guys! Happy, Happy birthday, Miss Hardy! Woo! Yeah! <laughs>